Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and this is a Nature at Your Door on the road in Iceland. And behind me, you can see probably the most iconic feature of uh, Reykjavik, Iceland, is this amazing church with an architect that was inspired by the geology of Iceland, as you can see in this photo. Today, we're going on a geology tour, and so in this episode, we're going to talk about volcanoes in Iceland and a little bit of Iceland's geology. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So our guide, Jasmine of Geo Adventures, has picked us up in Reykjavik, Iceland and we're driving about 20 miles to the site of the most recent volcanic eruption in Iceland. We look out on an almost desolate plain of lava flats in a very cold winter day. It was fascinating to see this older, now inactive volcanic cone off in the distance. We arrive at the site of the Fagradalsfagil volcanic eruption and just as the sun is rising and the colors of the sunlight as it comes up on the lava rocks of this 6,000 year old mountain in front of us was just breathtaking. Here our geology guide Jasmine begins her introduction. Okay. So all the purple stuff that you see here, this is the lava field. Okay. So we will start here at this edge of the lava field, which is just over the hill. There, we probably spent one to one and a half hours down here. Okay. Then we will start hiking up to this viewpoint. And from here, we have a 360 degree view over the whole area, which is absolutely amazing on a day like this. Cool. This volcanic system has been quiet for over 6,000 years and now has become decidedly active. And think, this is only 20 miles from Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland. While the volcano is quiet now in our December visit, only months before was the last eruption, Jasmine was kind enough to share these photographs and videos that she took of the eruption with me so you could contrast what we're seeing now as the lava cools and yet it's still hot underneath what it looked like just a few months before. Not a great 
great idea. We will do it as well, but I will show you exactly where to go, where it's safe, where it's stable. Because the lava field itself, it's still hot inside. Um, and it's as long as it's still hot, it's not completely stable. It can collapse at any moment. We can also get earthquakes at any moment, up to 6.5. In this case, definitely parts of the lava field will collapse. And then you can fall up to 50 meter into 900 degrees hot lava. So you probably die very quickly. So please don't do this. Um, yeah. But I see people way too far on the lava field. I see it every time. Yeah. And these people don't know that they're risking their lives. Even probably all of them reading the warning sign that's in front of the field. They definitely say don't walk on it. Over the next hour, we got a chance to learn so much about the lava flow that came out of this volcano, including its characteristics, its mineral content. It was really heavy because of all the iron in it. When the lava comes out, it may be nearly 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And as it cools, it creates a myriad of different formations that tell the history of the flow and the minerals that are inside. Fascinating to see, touch, and even walk on some of the newest rock on the planet Earth that had been here for barely a year or less. Iceland is known as land of fire and ice because it's a combination of volcanoes and glaciers. The volcanoes form the land mass and the island and the glaciers shape it and carve it. Iceland, an island of about 300 miles wide, is the most active volcanic site on the planet with an eruption every four years. Iceland has 32 active volcano systems. Iceland has more active volcanoes than anywhere on the planet due to its location on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and with a volcanic hotspot underneath that as well. As we walked up the mountain with over 1,300 feet of elevation gain, we learned more about the history of this particular volcanic eruption. Three weeks before the March 19, 2021 eruption, there were three weeks of intense earthquakes. Over 40,000 individual earthquakes were noted at this time. Geologists also observed a uplift in this area that was caused by the quakes and further geological investigation revealed an underground dike or intrusion of magma about eight kilometers long. Then there was three days of quiet and on 8.45, on March 19th, 2021, a lot of people in the neighboring village and even in Reykjavik reported a glow in the sky. Coast Guard helicopters went out to the site and confirmed, in fact, that the volcano was now erupting. A fissure or crack had opened up in the ground and lava was steadily pouring out from it and flowing down the mountain. This lasted for about six months and included uh, five lava fountain events where lava was shot up in the air um, over almost 1,200 feet into the air. There was no explosive activity such as occurred with the Aija Jalajokul volcano that erupted in 2010 and snarled plane travel all through Europe because of the amount of sand and dust in the atmosphere. This was a steady outflow of basaltic lava. Locally, it's known as a tourist volcano because instead of fleeing from the volcanic activity, it actually attracted tourists who had come to see the lava flowing out from a relatively safe distance. This volcano went quiet for a time and then on August 3rd, 2022, it began to erupt again. At the time of our December 2022 visit, it was quiet while the lava itself was still hot and the magma was still hot beneath it. It is likely to erupt again soon and the eruptions could possibly continue over the next 200 
to 400 years. We continue to hike up this mountain and soon arrive at the top where we can look down across the lava field, see the original sites of the fissures, and glimpse more of the beauty of this land of fire and ice. My wife and I really enjoyed our Iceland adventure far away from our home base in the Appalachian Mountains that started to form 480 million years ago. And here in Iceland, I was on rock and mountains that formed a few days ago to approximately 6,000 years ago. Reykjavik in December is a wonderful place to visit and to see. And there's so much more to learn about Iceland its glaciers and its volcanoes and how volcanoes and glaciers interact with each other to form this land. I hope you'll check out Geo Adventures and the tours that Jasmine offers. There was so much more that she taught us that I wasn't able to share in this 10 minute video. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and check out my playlists. Most of my episodes are based in the Appalachian Mountains. I hope I piqued your curiosity about Iceland and you learned some new things here today. It's a great place to visit. Thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.